Hey, what's up guys, Steve here. I have a friend who has their own central alarm system and they pay monthly for the system. And a cool feature that they have, or at least that I really liked, is that every time one of their doors opened and closed, a chime would beep in the center of their house where their alarm system was. So I've been looking, I've been trying to duplicate that myself. I bought some door chimes for the door that would chime at the actual door, did a video on it, I'll link it up in the corner and those just didn't work. They were way too loud, I didn't like it. I wanted something a little bit more central. So I have been searching high and low, going to forums, trying to find something that would work for me but not be super expensive. Ideally, I'd love if I could have my sensors chime on my Echo Dot. Uh, unfortunately, right now I'm hearing that that is not an option, but what I found was pretty awesome. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys what that product is and how to set it up. All right guys, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the computer here. On step number one in my description, I'm gonna have the link to the SmartThings website. You are going to click on that. If you don't have an account already, create an account. You're gonna be using the same account that you use to create your SmartThings app. So go ahead and log in with that. You're gonna click on My Device Handlers and then click on Create New Handler Device and then from there click on From Code. So, to get the code, we're gonna click on step number two from my description below. In step number two, it's gonna bring up the website here with the code in it. This code was actually created by the dumb company. So, that is where this code is coming from. I'm gonna click on raw, which is just gonna bring up the entire code here. That way I can go ahead and just hit control and copy everything, because this thing is huge. It's over a thousand lines. Click on copy. Control C, come back over here, Control V, paste it all in there and click on create. It's gonna take a second to create this. We will click on save to confirm that it is there. And then what I wanna do is click on publish and publish it for myself. This will publish it to my hub. So now that we have it published to the hub, so let's jump over here to the app. What we're gonna do is select add new thing, searching for device. So on the device itself, we're gonna click three times on the back. right there it's gonna find the device all right now we see that it popped up so it says a dome siren if you did not set up this device handler on the website beforehand it's gonna pop up and it's just gonna say z-wave switch which won't allow you to change or really do anything with it it's just gonna be a standard on off switch so make sure you set up the device handler ahead of time that way it detects that it is a dome siren and sets all of the options for you. So we're going to click on save and OK on the app. We see that it's listed. I'm going to go ahead and select it. And then from here, you can see all of the options that you can do as far as selecting alarms, sirens, bells, chimes. Um, the one that I liked going through this was chime number two. So if you want to listen to that, that is the chime that I'm going to be using for the door. I'm go back to home. All right, so let's go ahead and go to dashboard. Down here on dashboard, you're gonna see home solutions. So I'm gonna click on that. Up in the top right corner, I'm gonna click on the cog and select custom configuration. So from there, I'm gonna click on new monitoring rule. Select the devices I wanna use. I wanna use my open and close sensors, click done. And then from there, I'm gonna select the sensor. So I'm gonna just do, do the front and the back door here. Done with that, I'm gonna use, um, this is what I wanna use the monitor, I'm gonna click on open. I'm gonna leave the rest of these guys as default. The one here it says once within the number of minutes, I'm gonna leave that one blank because I want it to happen every single time this door opens and closes. Let's click on next. So even though this is a dome siren, you are actually gonna be playing an audio notification. So let's click on audio notifications. Click on select a player, select the siren. Click on done. Now I'm gonna select the notification audio here. And if you notice that nothing that we saw before is actually listed here. So what you actually need to do is click on custom message, done. And then in here it says play this message. So you need to manually type in the name of the audio that you want to listen to. Since I wanted chime number two, I'm gonna type that in. Say chime two, click on done. 
click on done to add it. So it is now in there. We're gonna go ahead and click on next, edit rule. I am going to change the name of this. I want it to say door chime. Click on done and it has now been added. So we're gonna close that out here. Click on done. You see it down here, click on done again. And bam, back to the beginning. So let's go ahead and test this out. I'll take you guys with me. Let's go over here, we'll go to the front door where the chime is. And let's see if this works. Doors open. There we go. Simple as that. All right, I bet you guys thought I forgot, but let's go through all the chimes right now. And I will name off each one. You can listen to what they are. So this is alarm. You know, let's adjust the volume on this because this is ridiculous. Okay, so volume is set to low now. Uh, high is just too much. We just want to get a an idea of what these sound like. I don't need to blow my ears out. So this is alarm on low. Okay, here's siren one. All right, here's siren two. Here is bell one. Here's bell two. Here is bell three. Here is bell four. And here is bell five. Here is chime one. Here is chime two. Here is chime three. All right guys, so those are the different sirens, alarms, bells, chimes. For this device, you can choose any one of these to play at any time. Hope this was helpful. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.